Don't tell me that only his body was dead. Jesus truly died in every sense of the word. Because not only did his spirit, not only did his body die, but his soul went to hell. Okay, that's death. Okay, so Jesus was truly dead. I mean, body, soul, and spirit. Then the God had died. Let's just say it was only three days and three nights that the Godhead was in hell burning. Uh, question, who was running heaven while God the Father, God the Spirit, God the Son were in hell burning? Who was running heaven? It's kind of a problem, isn't it? What's the significance of the Passover being roasted with fire is that Jesus Christ went to hell for three days and three nights. And by the way, it makes perfect sense when you think about the fact that the punishment for our sins, if we die in our sins, is to go where? And so Jesus went there and paid for our sins. Speaking of the fact that hell is an eternal place, somehow Jesus suffered an eternity of hell in those three days and three nights, if you, if you think about what this verse is saying in Jonah 2. But it's the blood that created the New Testament. It's the blood that washes our sin away. You know, I mean, scripture after scripture after scripture. Blood, it's the blood that is the remission for our sins. So yes, in that sense, when Jesus died on the cross and he said, it is finished, that's because the blood was shed. Now watch what Anderson says here. All over the building. People will always say that when Jesus said it is finished, everything that was needed for our salvation was done. It's all been done. We don't have to do anything. It's finished. Now that sounds good. It makes a good sermon, but here's the thing. Not true. Okay, what it, what it really is, is that Jesus went to hell and suffered the wrath of God for our sins. We have a fundamental difference in doctrine here. I believe yes, that Jesus Christ was in a place, his soul was in a place of fiery torment for three days and three nights. I think it's heresy. Before the resurrection. I think it's heresy. Okay. <laughs> so Anderson goes and he says, I believe that Jesus Christ was in a place of fiery torment for three days and three nights. And James White says, I think that's heresy. See, again, you know, so you say, well, whose side should we be on? See the confusion that this is. See, the King, you know, James, James White is against the King James Bible, and yet he is saying the truth in this case. Anderson is for the King James Bible, but he's lying. You see how Satan is using these two devil worshipers right here? These two false prophets? Okay, Anderson says it's a legitimate argument that millions of people believe in. And James White just laughs at him and he says, can you stop? Is there some point that you can stop arguing? You know? But Anderson says that millions of people believe in this thing that Jesus Christ went to hell and burned. Uh, I can assure you that that is an absolute total lie. Uh, I don't know any serious Bible preachers that, that have ever taught this, that Jesus burned in hell.